and look who's sitting next to me this morning. Legendary supermodel actress Christy Brinkley. She has graced the cover of over, is it 500 magazines? I. I lost count at 500 <laughs> like a decade ago. So oh my goodness. <laughs> and she's still in the magazines worldwide. She continues to defy aging. And I love the fact, first of all, hi, Christy. Hi, it's so good to see good you. Good to see you. I love the fact that you're out there. You talk about what you do, how old you are. And I love that you say that we have to stop defining ourselves by our age. Definitely. We, you know, we have grown up in a culture that makes such a big deal about age. Especially for but women. For only for women. Yeah. Like when an article is written about me in the first paragraph, it always says my age and how many times I've been married. And you never see that in an article written about men. Because I'm looking like, is he single? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Okay. Um, so, but, uh, you know, it's like, it's up to us. I think our generation, and speaking for myself, because I know you're a younger generation than me, but Not my much. generation yeah. is the, one of the first generations that has benefited from everything, from knowing about food, knowing about exercise. You know, we had Jane Fonda in our living room. We didn't have to go anywhere to exercise. Right. Um, and so it's like, you know, we've got dermatology that can do all kinds of things, and we've got incredible creams that you are in control of 24 hours a day that you can put on, and mm. you know. So there's so much that we can do that now, 60 ain't what it used to be. It, it's so, so true. I remember growing up and seeing like an aunt who was 50 years old and thinking, oh my God, she's so old. And now you look in the magazines yeah. and all these actresses who were in their 50 have the skimpiest, you know, little bikinis yes. on. And I'm like, they are freaking hot. Yes. They look so good. And yes. 60s as well. Because they change their attitude too. It's all about an attitude. You know, when women think that, okay, now I'm supposed to, you know, lower my hem and I can't wear my hair a certain length, you know, all of these things. It's like, no, you're an individual. Take good care of yourself and your body will take good care of you. And it'll, it'll you know, look as good as you feel. So I have to say, and I hope you don't think I'm like a little, um, well, shallow, um, but your <laughs> legs are fabulous. <laughs> and I'm just wondering, what do you do? Do you do leg lifts like 100 a day? Like what? Because they are so toned. Oh, thank you. Well, you know, I do, um, I actually do use my Total Gym every day. I have it set up in my bedroom and I jump on there and I, I stretch and lengthen and strengthen and all of that. And then I like to go to a spin class. I like to get on those bikes and really pedal. I mean, I love to ride, like, you know, outdoors as much so as I can. So you still do a lot of riding? Yes. Yeah. I, I love biking and that's, you know, I had a, a helicopter crash injury in my hip and I got my hip replaced and all the hip doctors said to me that pedaling is really great because you're not pounding and bouncing and jarring, you're, but you're getting that motion, you know? Mm. And these spin classes now are fun, and you can really, you know, really, really sweat and oh, get a yeah, real the workout. Sweating, the sweating is good. You really yeah. feel the endorphins after that. And then it's important to keep stretching and lengthening so you don't bulk up. Right. Which is where my total gym comes in, you know. Otherwise, you can start to just, you know, bulk up. You've got to keep stretching it out. So, all right, let's talk about the kids because Alexa Ray still yes. doing music, right? Is she going to be yes. at the Carlisle anytime soon? I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I, she's still I, singing her heart out. She is. She put out a, a new single earlier this year that was really... Um, beautiful called seven years and that's available on spotify and any streaming device and um uh and she's working on other things right now and she's kind of like um putting together like a little idea of a little show so mm. if you know that opportunity arises she's ready to go good and um uh so she's, yeah, she's, she's doing great what about sailor sailor's still modeling and stuff sailor is uh really just blossoming she's just come back from a month working out on the west coast doing modeling jobs and all of that 
and she's kind of alternating. She's doing like a month in New York and then a month in LA, and she's been uh, starting to do that now. That's nice. Uh, and what about Jack? And but she's also developing her own business that of I'm not allowed is. to say a word about. Okay. But she's working hard at that, and she's also been um, about to get a degree in nutrition and wellness and health and all of that that she's been studying online in a great univ online university. So good for her. Yeah. And how about your handsome Jack? How's he oh doing? Oh my gosh, he's so good. He. Um, he had started a free ride service in the Hamptons that made its money through advertising and uh, called Rove and uh, and he's I think they're going to be taking it to different cities and oh. stuff like that um, but he's also working on a project that I'm also not allowed to talk about <laughs> you've I'm been excited. banned from a lot I'm of things Christy about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really he was just telling me his latest project and I was like Wow, I love this idea. So, well, they take after you know, their mama. They're yeah, entrepreneurs. Hopefully, next time I'm on, I can actually say what it is. <laughs> okay.